show you what my favorite beauty products of January were. I had quite a few favorites this month, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into face products. First, I have the Sonia Kashuk Remove Eye Makeup Remover. I forgot to mention this in my Best of Skincare video of 2012, but I love this. This is the second bottle I've gone through in the past, I would say, about eight months. I used to only use the Clinique one, but now I use this one, and I love it. It's only $10, I think, and you get... 4.75 fluid ounces and it's so gentle on the eyes. I have contacts and my eyes can get irritated very easily and it doesn't irritate my eyes so I love it. My next favorite is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I've had this for a few months and I just I just haven't used it. It's just been sitting in my vanity and I just haven't been using it. But I decided to give it a try and I love it so, so, so much. And it really is just amazing for setting concealer. I use it to set concealer under my eyes and it also highlights the area. So I think this is good if you have light medium to tan skin. If you're too fair, this will just look yellow and make you look kind of sick because it is a yellow tinted powder. But I think it's good if you're a little bit more towards the medium tan skin tones. But they do have other shades and it is a very fine finely milled creamy powder and it doesn't look cakey which I love and it really just helps set your concealer so it doesn't crease so I've been loving this and it's really affordable. Then also for the face I've been loving this Sonia Kashuk. I think they call this the highlighting brush but it's just a duo fiber stippling brush and I love it. I've been using it to contour with which Sounds weird, right? I feel like I never see people contouring with duo fiber brushes, but I've been loving it to contour and to do my blush because it really just airbrushes the product out and makes it look just gorgeous. And I also want to try this with liquid foundation, but I've only tried it with blush and bronzer so far. Next, I have two primers. The first is the Porefessional from Benefit. I love this. And this is another product that I've had for a while. I just haven't really been using it religiously. It's just kind of been sitting there. So I decided to start using it almost every single day, and I love it. It helps mattify the face and mainly covers any fine lines and pores. I have really big pores around my nose. Well, not really big, but you can see them there. So I like to use this, and it's the only primer I've ever used that I really feel like covers up and fills in the pores. And it's amazing, and it's very lightweight on the face. And it comes out kind of like a, a nude color, but it blends out to be translucent so you can't really see it. But it just really evens out the skin. And I've also used it under my eyes. So it helps my concealer to stay and to set. And it fills in the fine lines under my eyes. So I love this. Then the next primer is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer. I love this. It's not a silicone based formula and it's not really a gel. It's kind of in between. It's kind of liquidy because I hate the way silicone primers feel. But I love the way this one feels. It's really cooling on the face and I feel it kind of tighten. Like my skin will get kind of tight and it makes my foundation go on so smooth. And then my last product for the face is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I love this. I did a first impression review. I will link below if you're interested. But it's such a good affordable foundation. I usually apply this with my beauty blender. That's what I'm wearing today. And it just goes on so smooth. People always ask what I'm wearing when I have this on, and it's the L'Oreal True Match, so I love it. I also have two concealers this month. The first is the Bobbi Brown Color Corrector in Peach. I've had this forever, and I'm still going through it. I haven't hit pan yet, and I kind of stopped using it because it does crease. So if you have a lot of lines under your eyes, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But I just use it where I have darkness, and it's amazing for canceling out darkness. It covers so much better than any other concealer I've ever used just to cancel out the darkness because the color peach is going to cancel out the purple and the blue tones. So I've been loving this. Went back to using it again. Then I've also been enjoying the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer this month. This is in the color Fair and the formula is very similar in my opinion to the Select Cover Up from MAC. It's that same creamy kind of liquidy texture. I wish this came in a tube like that one but it doesn't. Oh well. But I do love this concealer. It really brightens the under eye area and this is what I use to highlight. Moving on to eyes, I've been loving the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. These are amazing. These are just the black ones. And they're so natural and so just, they just look so good. And they're so easy to apply and I feel like they're really lightweight on the eyes. So it's not something that I feel like as I'm looking down and looking up that it feels so heavy. But I've been really loving these this month. And then also I've been loving my Tweezer Man Ultra Precision Tip Tweezers. These are amazing and I, I, I just feel silly talking about it because they're tweezers, but they're so good. Like I had, you know, normal drugstore tweezers forever and when I got this I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I don't know, I just didn't think much of it. But it's amazing. It really is just so easy to pluck your eyebrows or I mean anything that you need to pluck. It's just, 
it's just so good and they're really sharp so you have to be careful because I've like poked myself before like trying to pluck my eyebrows but they're so good and so easy and I don't know I just really like them then I have some eyeshadows I've been just adoring this month. The first is the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. I love this. I did a tutorial using this and I'm just obsessed. I didn't think I would love it so much, but I just, I love, love it. Um, it's perfect for travel. I love the shades. The color Faint is my favorite. This cool tone brown. Oh, it's just, I don't have anything like it in my collection. It's just gorgeous. And they're so creamy, easy to blend with. No surprise if you've ever tried Urban Decay shadows. And it's so cute. Then I also have three shadows from MAC I've just been loving, like my go-to combination this month. And the first is Texture from MAC. It's a very warm orange-based brown. It is so creamy. This has got to be the most finely milled shadow I've ever tried for MAC. I love it. And I'm wearing this in my crease now with the other two colors I'm going to talk about. But I just, I love it. It's so easy to blend and it really warms up your eye. And then with that, I've been using Swiss Chocolate. I love this color. It's so warm. It's a brown with a little bit of red in it. Like the undertones are kind of red. And I just, I love it. It's so easy to blend as well. And I also have that in my crease. So I've been using those two. And then lastly, Soft Brown for MAC, which I think I've mentioned this before. But it's my favorite transition shade because it's warm again. And I love warm colors. So I just, I love these three. I'm wearing these all in my crease right now, just really lightly in the outer corner. But I've also been using them like with a really smoky look that'll be up when I put my Valentine's Day tutorial up. And you can just use them in so many ways. I've just, I've been obsessed with them this month. Then for cheeks, I have two blushes. The first is Elf's Pink Passion. And I love this blush. It looks really scary in the pan. And this is another product I've had for ages. And I've used it maybe once until the past month. I don't know. I just... Never thought I could wear it because it was just so bright. I think I bought it one time because I was like, oh, this is $3. It looks fun. But it's so gorgeous. I've been wearing this a lot, and I've been using that stippling brush I talked about. And the color is just so flattering. Like, it looks like a, a very warm pink, and it just really warms up your cheeks. And you can definitely see you have pink, but it's not overwhelming. It just looks really good, and it's really hard to explain. I think it looks different on everyone that I've seen put it on. Another blush I've been loving is Down Boy from The Balm. A lot of you guys have been asking what I was wearing. I think it was in my L'Oreal True Match video, and it was this blush. I love it. It's a gorgeous baby pink. The Balm, I believe, is on Hot Look right now. It was yesterday. I hope it is by the time this video is up, but grab this if you can. I think they're only $10 on Hot Look. And they also have my favorite bronzer, which is Bahama Mama obsessed. You guys know it's my favorite bronzer. I'm thinking about getting another one just so I can have a backup. But I love this blush and I think it could work for any skin tones. It's very neutral so you could wear it with warm or cool undertones. Then I'm going to finish off with some lip products. First is MAC's Strip Down Lip Liner. This is like a brown with some pink undertones and I love it. I've been using it under pretty much every pink or nude lipstick that I've been wearing because it makes your lips look fuller without really trying. Like your lips just look full and pouty and it really gives me definition and I've just been wearing it under everything and I love it so so much. And then a lipstick I've been wearing over it almost every single day is the Color Whisper for Maybelline in Lust for Blush. This is a gorgeous neutral pink and oh my gosh I love it so so much. It's so comfortable and easy to wear and it's something that I don't even need a mirror to apply. I can just apply it and my lips look fuller and just amazing and they're so comfortable and I just love them. I feel like Kim Kardashian when I wear this lipstick. And then another neutral pink I've been loving this month is the YSL Rouge for Loop lipstick in number one nude beige. This is another gorgeous neutral pink. So creamy. I just, I mean, I just feel so fancy when I put this on. Like, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the lipstick is gorgeous. And they're so high shine and easy to wear. So that's all for my favorites of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you've been loving this month. And thanks for watching. 